In this video, I'm going to show you how to create transparent backgrounds in Canva. It's pretty easy to do, and if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below where you can test out Canva for free or simply use it to log in. So the secret here or the, the very big thing you want to keep in mind is that what you want to do is create, say, like text and then turn it into a PNG. A PNG is going to give you the ability to have that transparent background so that you can save it and place it over something else. Let's give you an example right here. Let's go to text. Let's say we want to do add a heading. We have marketing island. What we want to do from here is go to share and we want to go to download and it's already under PNG, which is great. So that can be transparent and we want transparent background. Keep in mind, I believe this is going to be a pro feature, I believe. So uh, if you don't have it, the uh, Canva Pro comes with a free trial. But nevertheless, let's click on that and do download. All right. So now that I had saved that, all I did is go to uploads and I uploaded that file. So I can just like delete this text here. What I want to do, let's just say I want to open up this image from Queenstown, New Zealand. Beautiful. I was there. I can take that specifically. I think I found it on Unsplash. Nevertheless, what I want to do now is go here and just simply drop it in. And you're going to notice we can put it anywhere we want. We can make it a little bit bigger. Obviously, like with text, you could just like draw on it. But that's just giving you an example of how you can go about taking an image that was transparent and just simply putting it over. OK, what I'm going to do is actually delete this. I'm going to show you one other great way of doing that. For example, let's open up this. This you definitely need Canva Pro with, and I'm going to show you because you need the magic erase. So let's actually click on the image. Let's click on edit image. And from there, let's go to background remover. OK, and it got rid of almost pretty much all the background on the top. But let's say we don't want anything on the bottom. Let's go to the erase here. Let's make a bigger brush size so it's easier to do. And let's get rid of all of this here. Make sure nothing else is there. And you'll notice the background is going to be transparent. So what I also want to do is after let's click on done and this is going to be there. So what I can do now, let's click apply. We can go back to our uploads and let's use that same picture of Queenstown. Where are you? Can't miss it. It's beautiful. And what I can do is right click on this and we can do, uh, let's see, layer send backward. Now we have our little scoops. I was going to say we have our skateboarder in front, but I got to click on them. There we go. And I can make it a little bit bigger. So there's multiple ways of doing this, whether it's going to be with a picture or it's going to be with text, you know, really up to you. But those are a couple of ways that where you can create a transparent background in Canva, combine pictures, you know, and do some pretty cool stuff. Looks like this person is catching air in Queenstown, <laughs> which is I don't think that's even possible based upon like the, the ski lift that's going there. But if you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.